on this episode of the show, I am going to share my method for grinding out SEO work. This isn't how I find keywords. This isn't how I write SEO landing pages. I'm either doing the keyword research. I need to write the landing page. I'm looking at competitors. I need to, I need to do something difficult. I need to get through emails. I need to change out the layout on a website. And this is how I am efficient and productive or even, even editing. I need to edit something. This is how I grind out work. When work needs to be done, this is how I grind it out in the most efficient way possible where I don't get stuck on things and where I enable myself to get through the hard work. I think it's something that everybody should try. This is this method of work, this way that I do my work, it is like a religion to me. It works that well for me. It keeps me in flow state. It prevents me from getting burned out. It is how I made compact keywords. It's how I do lots of episodes of the show and how I do SEO as well. This method of work is so good for me. I realized that it was good when I started making SEO landing pages several times a week. I think I was putting up, I think I was putting up three to five SEO landing pages every week, which is insane output. I was putting three to five up every week. And this method is what allowed me to put these up week after week after week after week without getting burned out. That is, that is when I realized that the method was so great. It was when I started using it for SEO. And like I said, it works for any type of work where you want to stay focused and efficient. All right. So that was a long introduction. It is, it's actually a very simple to understand method. It's a variation of the Pomodoro technique. I got it from Reddit years ago. And it has served me just so well. So I hope that it serves you really well. And so here's what it is. Let's say that you want to write and post an entire SEO landing page in a single afternoon and still have it be good. This is what to do. So it's four 25 minute focused work sessions separated by three to five minute breaks. And then after the four focused work sessions, you take a 20 minute to one hour break. I'm gonna say it again. So you have four 25 minute work sessions where, where things are really focused. You're not checking messages. You're not checking email. You are doing what you need to do. You set a timer on your phone. You, you, you do get a timer on your browser. When the timer goes off, you take a three to five minute break. You step away from screens. You can go lie down on a couch, lie in bed. You can just step away. Don't look at screens. Don't look at your phone. Don't look at your computer. Don't look at, don't look at TV. Don't look at screens. Three to five minute break ends. You come back and you work for another 25 minutes. You do that four times. Focused work, break, focused work, break, focused work, break, focused work. And then you take a 20 minute to one hour break. You can look at screens then, but I try not to. And I actually like to go on a walk or something like that, or do stretching or get things done, th things that don't require me looking at screens during that time. Going for a walk is the best thing to do or having something to eat. Because the thing is also with the breaks, screen fatigue is a real thing. And so if you're looking at screens on your breaks, it's going to be harder to look at screens as you're pumping out work. And that is the, one of the reasons why I don't. And also just if you're looking at screens, it becomes tempting to open up email and to do other work. So you really want to take the breaks seriously. And this is what happens when you do this method. This is the result of doing this. And this is why I like it so much. So you get into flow state. It's easier to grind out work and not get burned out and just be really in the moment with what you are doing. The three to five minute breaks you think might interrupt flow state. But the thing is not all flow state is equal because you could be in flow state doing something that doesn't help your overall goal. And the three to five minute breaks, I can't even tell you how many times I wasted most of a 25 minute focused work session when I was doing something that I didn't need to do, like trying to figure out how to style something on a page. Maybe I had an FAQ section or something and I'm trying to figure out how to style this FAQ section. The 25 minute timer goes off. 
I step away from my computer in that three to five minute break, I realize that I don't even need that FAQ section. And all the time I spent trying to figure out how to style it was unnecessary because I don't need the section in the first place. And if the three to five minute break, it didn't happen, I might continue trying to figure out how to style it for 20 minutes because I'm caught up in flow state on something that I don't need. So not all flow state is created equal. Or maybe there's a better and easier way to do something that happens very often as well. You step away, you figure out, oh, you know what? I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do this this way, but I could do it that way. That'd be way easier. And you only get that when you actually step away from screens for three to five minutes. It just saves you so much time. This method also allows you to do hard things more effectively to get the hard work done first. You go into a 25 minute session knowing what you need to do, saying you're going to do it. And then you just, and you don't have email open, you don't have messengers open, and then you just go and do it because, you, and, and you know, you're just gonna do your best within that those 25 minutes. 25 minutes might go off and you're not finished, but you're gonna do your best within the 25 minutes. It just helps so much with getting those hard things done because if you don't have a way for doing focused work and not getting burned out, then you might go into a session if you want, or not even a session, you might sit at your computer. If you're, if you don't have a way of doing focus work, you might sit at your computer, have a bunch of messengers open. Instead of doing that hard thing, you're messaging your friends, you're sending unnecessary emails. And by doing this technique, it allows you to get this focus work done. And sometimes you have hard things to do. And having this method allows you to just jump right into those hard things. What would a hard thing look like? It might be, I said, don't have email open. Sometimes you need to, or maybe you write the email in, in a different document and then you, you paste it into, into your email. So you, you might have to send an, an, an uncomfortable message, or you might have to do budgeting, or you might have to do tedious work that you're putting off. And this just helps you become a lot more effective with that. Also the three to five minute breaks, they let you stand up and it keeps you from getting sore. That is critical as well. You, you work for too long and then you're just, you're sore and it's, it's hard to continue working. You might work, you might think you're being more effective by just sitting at your computer for three hours straight. But what really happens is the last hour and a half or last hour, you're not very productive. And then you just, you're burned out for the rest of the day. So really you got two hours focused work done because you refused to get up from your computer in that time. If you had taken three to five minute breaks, you'd be able to get a lot more work done in the day. Also the three to five minute breaks, they allow, I, I, I forgot to mention this earlier, they allow for inspiration. Things that you should add into your pages, keywords that you should look into. You might, you might think of an entirely different keyword and then go down this rabbit hole in one of the 25 minute sessions and find some super lucrative keyword that you would not have thought of otherwise. And then the 20, the 20 minute to one hour breaks, you can take them sometimes longer than an hour. Again, these really help you from burning out. And so this is how much work I'm able to get done with this. There will be a bunch of days where I will do four of these two hour sessions. That is nearly seven hours focused work. And that is insane. Most people at offices, I think they get around two hours focused work in a day. Doing this technique, you can get in seven hours focused work a day. And if you're, if you don't have a lot of people who are working for you and you're doing all the SEO yourself, or you're doing all the work yourself, this allows you to be a lot more productive. Really se seven hours is just so ridiculous. And sometimes with this technique, I even do five sessions and that is over eight hours focused work. That is how I grind out so many SEO landing pages. That is how I do keyword research. That's, how, that's basically how I do all of my work. Again, how I made compact keywords. It is the, my favorite way to do work. And I think one of the best ways to do work and to do it well, and to not get distracted and to not get burned out. I wanted to share that with you. People who listen to this show probably spend a lot of time at their computer. I know I do. And I enjoy it. And this allows me to enjoy it. If you want to learn how to make the SEO landing pages and do the keyword research and find the super lucrative keywords, I have a 13 hour course, which I mentioned earlier at compactkeywords.com. If you don't want to waste years of your life, figuring out what works in SEO, trying different things, 
failing to figure out what doesn't work and what does work. And if you don't, if you don't want to waste years doing that, and you just want to learn the technique that gets you customers, users, and leads with SEO without spending years experimenting like I did, that is at compactkeywords.com. You can watch the video at the top of the landing page to learn more. And that is all that I got for you on this episode of my daily digital marketing show. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.